Muscular, agile, athletic and protective. This is what best describes the Thai Ridgeback. With its unique ridge on the back, they are like no other dog breed. While they do have a lot of power and still have a high prey drive, they can become great and protective family members. Does this dog suit into your home? Divided into 10 topics, we teach you everything about the Thai Ridgeback so you can decide if this breed will fit into your family and lifestyle. Number 1. Origin Considered to be one of the oldest breeds, the Thai Ridgeback originated in Thailand. Used as a hunter, watchdog and family protector, this breed is exceedingly rare outside of their native country. Due to a lack of human interaction and isolation, this breed remains largely undomesticated and independent. Thai Ridgebacks were used mainly for hunting in the eastern part of Thailand and to escort their cards. The reason why it has kept its own original type for so many years is due to poor transportation systems in the eastern part of Thailand. It had fewer chances to crossbreed with other breeds and today is still very rare outside of the country. Number 2. Personality This muscular and medium sized breed is typically fearless, alert and powerful. The Thai Ridgeback is extremely agile, athletic, unique and graceful. They are very sensitive to both sight and sound. They are a magnificent and courageous breed and are highly capable of adapting to any new environment. First thing you need to know about living with this interesting breed is they have a mind of their own. They like to have their own way, don't give up until they get it and will quickly run your life if you give them half a chance. This dog will test your limits to see what he can get away with and will refuse to do anything he doesn't want to do. With the right socialization and training from young age, they can grow to well-mannered and obedient dogs. Number 3. Appearance Thai Ridgebacks are strong, muscular dogs that know how to defend themselves and their family and friends. They can grow up to 24 inches, which is 60 centimeters, and weigh up to 75 pounds, which is 34 kilograms. They have a wedge shaped head, triangular shaped brick ears and a very short smooth coat. It has a pronounced ridge on its back, formed by its hair growing in the opposite direction of the rest of their coat. The ridge starts from behind the withers and runs to a point between the rise of the hips. The tail is carried upward called a sickle or sword tail and its forehead wrinkles with enormous expression. The eyes are almond shaped with brown or amber colors and the coat is short. Number 4. Trainability Thai Ridgebacks require formal obedience training as well as intense and extensive socialization. They are generally quick to learn, obedient and eager to please their master. Training must be done with love, respect, firmness, consistency and patience. This breed excels in agility, so giving them a lot of tasks where they can show and improve their skills will make both you and your dog happy. For best results, begin training early, keep the training sessions short and use positive reinforcement techniques. Never force them to do anything. If you can persuade the Thai Ridgeback that what you're asking for is something that he'd really like to do, the better your chances of success are. You can increase the success rate using treats or playing fun games with them. If you want to learn more about dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. Number 5. Time Investment Thai Ridgebacks need more exercise time than most other dog breeds, which is up to 2 hours. Options for exercise include playtime in the backyard, preferably fenced or take for a walk several times a day. Exercise can also come in the form of indoor activities like hide and seek, chasing a ball rolled along the floor or teaching them new tricks. Certain outdoor activities like swimming, hiking, retrieving balls or flying discs can provide a good outlet for expanding energy. The time you need to invest is even higher than the exercise you need to provide. Due to their past as hunting dogs, early and frequent socialization is critical to help prevent a Thai Ridgeback from becoming overly suspicious or fearful of anything new or different. Number 6. Coat The Thai Ridgeback's coat comes in two distinctive varieties. The first consists of a hard, short and straight outer coat with a very thin undercoat. The second type consists of a short, dense coat that has an appearance of texture of velvet. A distinguishing feature of the Thai Ridgeback is the ridge of the hair on the back that can come in different patterns such as bowling pin, leaf, saddlebag and many more. The coat is divided into two groups of epistatic genes. The first one includes the colors black, brown, red or blue. The second group varies between grey, silver, blue and red that will turn into fawn. 
occasional brushing may be needed when he is shedding, which occurs only once or twice a year. Beyond regular grooming, the occasional bath will keep your dog clean and looking his best. The strong, fast-growing nails should be trimmed regularly with a nail clipper or grinder to avoid overgrowth, slipping and cracking. Number 7. Best Home The Thai Ridgeback can be a good playmate for older children, but a puppy can be too rambunctious for toddlers. Cats are likely to be viewed as prey and he will probably be aggressive toward dogs he doesn't know. Early and proper socialization can help and chances are that your puppy will see other pets as friends that are here to play with and not to catch. They are naturally protective of their home and family. They are best kept by consistent owners who have a thorough understanding of dog behavior. They have an excellent jumping ability and may seek to roam if not properly contained. If you are a first time dog owner and have a family of small children, this is definitely the wrong dog breed for you. If your experience with dogs can provide them a lot of exercise and children that know how to handle dogs, this breed could be a great choice for you. Number 8. Health In general, the Thai Ridgeback is a healthy breed, but they can develop hip dysplasia and may be prone to a skin condition called dermoid sinus. With a lifespan of 12 to 13 years, they tend to be a strong and healthy breed. Perhaps surprisingly, many dog breeds, not just the Thai Ridgeback, can develop allergies. These are not always clear to identify, but you will be aware your dog is having a reaction to something. If this is the case, you should seek veterinary advice where they will run tests to try to determine what the allergy is. With basic grooming, plenty of exercise, a good diet and access to veterinary care, your Thai Ridgeback are easy to care for with a low maintenance. So you can focus on the good part of having a dog. Number 9. Costs the cost to buy a Thai Ridgeback varies greatly and depends on many factors such as the lineage of the puppy, breed popularity in your country, the breeder's reputation and much more. If you're looking for an average and healthy Thai Ridgeback puppy, you can expect to buy an average price of $1200. If you're looking for a puppy with superior pedigree or even show quality, this can cost you anywhere from $5000 to $10000. If you buy or adopt a puppy, you should get all the information you can about this breed. This includes health certificates of the puppy's parents from your local breeder, specific breed information from your veterinarian and other dog owners that have experience with this breed. A Thai Ridgeback puppy will cost you an average of $500 to $1000 a year for red pills, vaccines, toys, food and much more. Number 10. Diet As an athletic and high energy dog, the Thai Ridgeback needs to be fed a high quality diet of dry kibble. The food should be formulated for the particular dog's activity level. Dry food is essential to this breed's oral health as wet food can cause carriers, infections and bad breath. It's also important to feed premium dog food that is made with predominantly meat. Nowadays many pet food companies utilize concentrated vegetable proteins to cut costs, but they often lack the necessary amino acids required by dogs. Do you consider buying or adopting a Thai Ridgeback? Let us know in the comments and share your experience. If you're interested in dog brain training and training methods, check out the descriptions. And if you like our videos, make sure to subscribe to learn more about dogs in the future.